Hey everyone, I'm Paul and today I want to talk about where to buy parts for your RAV4. I made a video like this four years ago, but a couple things have changed and I've learned a lot since then, so I have much better information this time. I've organized the parts distributors into four different categories. First, you can buy original new parts from the dealer. You can buy used parts from the junkyard. You can buy aftermarket parts from the auto parts store, and you can buy things online. I'm going to tell you which parts you should and should not buy from each type of distributor. Let's get started. Let's talk about buying original Toyota parts first. These are sometimes called new old stock because they're new, but they've been sitting in a warehouse for 20 years. You already know Toyota parts are extremely high quality, and in most cases, you should buy original parts to fix your car. I know from experience, Toyota CV axles last at least 25 years, and the Chinese trash axles from AutoZone are defective and clunky the day they were made. They last zero years. Unfortunately, you should not buy CV axles from the dealer. They are discontinued or too expensive. They are $500 each, and that's just way too high. If your CV axles are bad, get some from the junkyard that have good boots, then buy the reboot kit from Toyota. Anytime you do a very labor-intensive job, like the timing belt, go for original Toyota parts. You don't want to redo that timing job after a couple years because of a crap water pump. I've also learned from experience that Duralast radiator caps from AutoZone don't fit and can cause hoses or the head gasket to blow up because they don't limit cooling system pressure. The Toyota cap is the same price as the shitty one that doesn't work, so there's no reason to mess around. Toyota ball joints, tie rods, and strut mounts are stronger than aftermarket and come with grease already inside. Aftermarket suspension parts will have grease circs that you have to maintain, will use random wrench sizes, and will last a random number of years that is much less than 25. Cars have thousands of parts. If you install inferior parts, you will be constantly redoing the same repairs instead of just driving your car like a normal person. I'm restoring my RAV4, so Toyota Parts Deal is my go-to place for getting shiny new bolts, little clips, and small parts to freshen up the way my car looks. Some parts are discontinued or too expensive from the dealer. There are plenty of aftermarket exhaust parts that work just fine. Moog control arms are great. If you have a dented fender, try to find one that is the right color at the junkyard because the new one is just black and needs to be painted. Aftermarket shocks, struts, and springs can be just as good as original, and they're much cheaper. To find Toyota part numbers, I used to visit parts.toyota.com. Wait a minute, what's this? This is autoparts.toyota.com. As of May 1st, 2023, Toyota replaced their parts site with this piece of garbage. Let me explain. I'll start by selecting the 1997 RAV4. They give you a list of 500 items sorted by position. A seat cover, gas tank stuff, some washer. It's not organized at all, and there are 50 pages of this crap. The diagrams are gone, and there's no good way to find the part numbers. There's a diagram here. Let's click on it. Okay, cool, I can find stuff for my gas tank. Let's try to find motor mount bolts. Let's type in motor mount, hit enter, and I have 85 results. Scrolling down this list isn't very meaningful. How about this first one? Okay, it's a motor mount for $80 with no picture and no diagram. Which one is it? Nobody knows. I just wanted the bolts, actually. Parts.toyota.com is dead and the diagrams are gone. But have no fear, because Yoshi Parts is here. This site is awesome. Click Toyota, then scroll down a bit. You can type in your VIN or just select the vehicle. I have a 1997 RAV4. Yay, it looks like that. This site asks you for a few more details. I'm in the USA. It's 1997, 3SFE, SXA10. 10. 10 is the two door and 15 is the four door. Manual transmission, hard top. Now let's find some parts. There's a picture of the RAV4 again and everything is organized by diagrams. That's genius. Let's scroll down a bit. I'm seeing engine parts, and there's the engine mounting diagram. Look at that. Here are all the engine mounts. It's so easy. They're all right here, and I only had to click once. What was almost impossible to do on the new Toyota site only takes a few seconds to find on yoshiparts.com. We have all the mounts, 
bolts, washers, all right here. Amazing. Let's go back and browse a bit. This site appears to have every RAV4 parts diagram. They have all the hoses and bolts, even little gears inside the transmission. Just because they have diagrams and part numbers doesn't mean the parts will be in stock. Some of them are discontinued and nobody has them. I'm so grateful for Yoshi Parts being here and having such an excellent and well-organized website. I hope it stays online forever. I haven't ordered anything from Yoshi Parts yet since I just found them. It looks like they ship from Japan, so it could be a little slower than ordering parts from the US for me. My go-to website for ordering Toyota parts is toyotapartsdeal.com. They seem to be able to get all the same parts as the dealer and have slightly lower prices. Toyota parts deal is good, but not great. They've never messed up my orders, but they're slow and not very consistent. I usually get my parts in two to three weeks, but I've gotten lucky and had parts in just a few days. Sometimes they have to order the parts, wait, then send them to me, and that causes delays. My latest order has been processing for three weeks now. Let's see if I can get this motor mount bolt. 9119-10866. Yep, there it is. $1.70 and a nice picture of it too. A lot of parts don't wear out and can be found at your local junkyard. You can find alternators and starters that have plenty of life left. You can get a used engine or transmission, but you have to install it quickly since most junkyards give you a 30-day warranty. I already mentioned the CV axles. RAV4 CV axles pretty much don't wear out if the boots are intact and dirt didn't get in them. Original Toyota cooling fans are much higher quality than any aftermarket fan. Aftermarket headlights are all trash compared to original. Chinese companies will make them look like original, but with a horrible beam pattern. You'll have scattered light and you won't see shit. An old headlight from the junkyard is better than that. Also, you can install 1998 and up headlights and taillights on your 1997 or older RAV4 to make it look better. Relays go for about $1 at the junkyard, but the dealer will charge 50 or more. They don't really go bad. Bolts are usually free if you're already buying something. You might get lucky and find a nice set of wheels, or if you're really, really lucky, there might be a limited slip differential waiting for you. You don't want to buy rubber parts because they're 25 years old and bad. Takata airbags had a little issue where they could shoot metal shrapnel in your face, so if you need one, perhaps get a brand new one instead that doesn't have that problem. Or just get a steering wheel without one. The RAV4 isn't very safe anyway, so just lean into it. The earlier RAV4, 1997 and older, had a catalytic converter mounted on the exhaust manifold. Yours is probably plugged, and so is the one at the junkyard. I installed a 1998 exhaust system on mine, but had problems with the emissions test because I had one cat instead of two. 25-year-old springs are dead. Don't buy them from the junkyard. Also, labor-intensive things like the cylinder head or AC components should be new parts. Maybe that car was a little bit crashed, or perhaps it was overheated and the engine blew up. What do my local junkyards have at the moment? I can do a search for the RAV4. Okay, it looks like Pull and Save has a 1999 white four-door RAV4, and they just got it a couple weeks ago. It won't let me click on it, but the car looks pretty good. I see headlights, grille, and bumper are all intact. They also give you the VIN. Pick and Pull has a 2000 four-door RAV4 in purple. This one looks nice too, and has a roof rack. They've had it since last October, so it might be missing some things. They also list the VIN. Tear Apart has a 2001 RAV4. That's the second generation. It might have a rear disc brake conversion for you. Too bad they didn't show the VIN. I installed the Toyota app on my phone and added my RAV4 by scanning the VIN using the phone's camera. Click Glove Box, then Specs and Capabilities. This screen shows all the factory options that came with my RAV4. At the bottom of the page, you can see if the original owner paid for any upgrades. You can also add a car. I'm going to type in the VIN for the white RAV4 from Pull and Save. Now click on the car, glove box, specs, and now I can see if this junkyard car has any fun options. I added the purple car too. Let's compare these cars. Mine is on the left. It's the two-door with a manual transmission. The junkyard cars are both four-door with automatic. Nobody has a limited slip rear differential, fender flares, or a sunroof. The junkyard cars came with a tilt steering wheel and a soft spare tire cover. 
The purple car has the all-weather guard equipment package. If you're on the hunt for that super rare Torsen Limited Slip Rear Differential, you can gather VINs from junkyards, add them to your app, and read the installed equipment section. The next category is the Discount Auto Parts Store. AutoZone, O'Reilly, Napa, CarQuest, they're very similar and sell a lot of aftermarket parts. Some of these parts are good, but you're gambling with the reliability of your car. Original Toyota parts last at least 25 years. Aftermarket parts last somewhere between zero and a few years, usually a lot less than 25. I love AutoZone, but I've brought home some real trash from there. Maintenance items like oils, fluids, and filters are all great. Radiator hoses and batteries are just fine too. Parts stores will sometimes give you an option for new or remanufactured parts. A remanufactured part can be an original Toyota part that was repaired, and it would be better than a new trash part from China. A remanufactured alternator or power steering pump is generally a good thing. I've had very good luck with remanufactured cylinder heads from AutoZone. There are a few things you should not buy aftermarket. Dorman makes a little adjuster bolt thing for the alternator belt. It's worse than original, so just get one from the junkyard if you need it. Replacing wheel bearings is hard. Do you want to get stranded somewhere and have to redo it? Or perhaps just buy Toyota parts instead? I bought new CV axles from AutoZone once. Big mistake. They made my car clunk really bad and leak transmission fluid. My old ones weren't even bad, but I thought I was making my car newer. I ended up getting axles from the junkyard, installing new boots from Toyota, and my clunking and transmission leak went away. Don't buy aftermarket headlights. Chinese companies will copy the original headlight so it fits the car, but the reflector is trash and the beam pattern will be trash. Motor mounts are probably okay from the auto parts store, but the original ones are the same price, so why mess around? Once upon a time, my head gasket was very old and kind of blown or on the verge of blowing up. I headed to AutoZone and bought a Duralast radiator cap. It doesn't fit the radiator correctly and doesn't vent extra pressure into the overflow tank. Instead of 15 psi, I had some pressure that's way higher than that and coolant started pouring into my oil. I saved $1 on the cap but had to replace the head gasket. Not good. AutoZone will give active duty military and veterans 10% off parts in the store, but if you just go to the website instead, anyone can get 20% off. They change the deal every week. This week's code gives you 20% off if you order $125 or more with free delivery. You can also buy parts online. Pro tip, go to the AutoZone website to get the part number for your oxygen sensors, then buy them from Amazon for half the price. Spark plugs are okay to buy from Amazon too, but they might get broken in shipping. In the 1990s, original car stereos were all trash, so head over to crutchfield.com if you want a radio and some speakers. LED headlight bulbs, dashboard, and interior lights are a nice upgrade. Leave your turn signal bulbs alone. The flasher relay only works with incandescent bulbs, so you'll have them flash at the wrong speed or not at all. Also, if they're too bright or the wrong color, for example white instead of yellow, your turn signals will look worse, too. A bright white LED will turn your red taillights pink. That's dumb. Don't do it. If you need new struts and springs, just buy the Old Man Emu lift kit. You can buy shocks and struts from Rock Auto and even eBay, but be careful with the quality. Buy a brand name like KYB. Cheap Chinese struts can fail in less than a year. Don't be the clown fixing the same things over and over. This doesn't really apply to the first gen RAV4, but there are a lot of fake TPMS sensors out there. They probably work, but do you want to shell out mounting and balancing fees at the tire shop every month when the sensors fail? Or would you prefer to pay $45 each for the real sensors that won't break from Tire Rack? Once upon a time, I bought the world's cheapest AC compressor online. This wasn't in my RAV4, but it's an important lesson. The compressor was $360 and I paid a shop $150 to recharge the air conditioning system. It worked for 5 minutes. In Phoenix. I never did fix it and just drove around in my oven of a car. I should have bought the real AC compressor instead. Another great place to find parts is Facebook. You can find wheels in excellent condition on Facebook Marketplace. Wheels are expensive to ship, but someone close by probably has a set of four you can get for a good price. If you haven't already, go ahead and join all the first generation RAV4 groups. It's a great community and people love these cars. You'll find lots of information and perhaps some inspiration for your next car project.
If you know a thing or two, you can be an armchair mechanic and mansplain stuff all day. People will be happy to hear from you. If you're nice, you might make some new friends, too. That's how I met Dylan with the 3S GTE swapped RAV4. I have a great video about his car. Nick in California sent me a strut tower brace for my RAV4, and Dylan fabricated a reinforcement brace for it that looks awesome. Braden in Arizona sent me a new subframe for my car. People will help you with stuff if you ask. Let's take a closer look at eBay. I'll do something easy. 1997 RAV4 door panel. Here we go, got a bunch of them. I have a couple front door panels and some rear door panels. How about a center console instead? The first listing is a center console, but I want the add-on armrest accessory. I'm not seeing it. It looks like this, but it's for the RAV4 and it was an optional part from the dealer. Let's go back to that door panel. This picture looks like it was taken at a junkyard. It's being sold by Speedy's Used Parts. They're in Asheville, North Carolina. You can message sellers on eBay, but their phone number is hidden and it's against eBay policy to discuss sales outside of eBay because they want their cut of the money. I'm searching for Speedy's Used Parts in Asheville, North Carolina on Google Maps. And there they are. I have a phone number and a website. I just used eBay to find a junkyard who ships parts. I can call and ask if they have the center console armrest. Their website has a search function too. They have the center console. I want to see the car. I'll try another search. Okay, here we go. Speedy's has a 1998 four-door RAV4 in silver. It has fender flares on it too. That's nice. Those were optional. Perhaps the car has other optional parts too. I hope that was useful, and if you have any little secrets you'd like to share about finding parts, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.